change your ways. You were doing well until you looked at the boisterous way. No, you wouldn't have sighed if you kept your gaze at me. Because the sea saw him and fled. That's the one who is talking. I says he's a city to walk on water. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Rado Selebero de Akabaya. This may be the reason why you came for this convention. This may be the reason why you are in this convention. Is to shift your gaze and turn your gaze. Realign you to gaze. He who looks at the, law, at the public law of liberty. Yes. Because as we behold him, we are being changed into the same image. And we go from glory to glory. My God, you are. the 
sanctified. God. 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 Oh, your body is bringing down on you. Oh, there's a word that is rising in us. There's a word of abundance rising in your spirit. Hold that word. Hold that word. Therein lies your salvation. So, Lord, I now thank you for what you have done. I see the provision. I see the provision. Oh, I see the provision. Oh, yeah. I love practical worship. So to me, fishes are not just fishes. It's a way of God, a parable of God, a parable of God to me about abundance. Because Peter and his friend caught nothing all night. Then Jesus showed up and said, launch back that night. He said, launch your net. They disobeyed and launched them up. And the net started breaking. They had to call their friends. Where was it that it was the same kind of miracle fish that he used to feed five thousand? To me, fish is not no longer fish. Fish is a way of God telling me there's abundance. You see, this is how revelation comes. It's a scripture you've known, but now it makes more sense. That the parable of the Lord to me in this season is using fishes as a burden. Multitude of people and multitude of resources. That's what I hear personally. I'm sharing this, I'm being vulnerable to you to realize that this is how God will speak to you even right now. And if you hold that word, believe it, declare it, and take action, forget it. Faith cannot fail. If faith fails, God has to fail. The integrity of God is learned on His word. To a title out of my word will not go unfulfilled. So I tell people before you start declaring scripture, enter worship, set your affection. Let Him send you the Rema word. Not just generic scriptures that you know. There's a rema word. Ah. See, na 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 na. Every day no no so great. You were the you were.
is not a fluke. No wonder Ephesians 3.20 Now unto him who is able to do exceeding. Wait, wait, wait. You don't know the meaning of exceeding. Let me do it for you. Now unto him who is able to do exceeding. Exceed your imagination. So, it's exceeding power. The rate it can go is based on how you imagine. Oh, you didn't get that. So, he exceeds what that image. So, somebody says, You don't know how I imagine things. I imagine so big things. I'm telling you, God, we exceed. The last assignment the Lord is that you see, I love Holy Ghost meetings like this. Because once I stood there, I didn't even know what I wanted to do. I just trusted the Lord for utterance. It tells you this is an unprecedented move of the Spirit. If you miss this moment, I tell you, it may take a cycle of time to come back to this moment. Because I watch out for things. It's unprecedented. This, this sound this song you're hearing is as near as I heard it. As I was making that analogy by the Spirit of God, I began to, he said, open your mouth and I will feel it. And I began to say, I began to sing before I talk. And that's how all the songs of the Lord that God gives me comes. I sing them before I think about what I'm saying. So he tells you God is about to do some unprecedented things. And he says to tell you, I heard in my spirit three minutes of Thanksgiving. Now see, Thanksgiving is not happiness. Thanksgiving is thanking him for the things. Now, as you are thanking him, please exceed. With your, let your imagination love him. Hey, 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 hey. You may be in debt now, but I say upon us before the end of the year. Guess what? This is exactly is the point where we all miss it. Because I'm seeing for you. I'm, I can't see for you, sir. Uh, you didn't get that. All my assignment is to build your faith to see. So you will only do what you see. Not what I declare sometimes. God can have mercy and bring to pass the words of his servant. But there are deeper levels to this thing. That's why we communicate faith. Faith comes by hearing. If faith comes, it can go. Faith comes by hearing. So I speak the word to build up faith in you so that you can now speak. He said, since we have the same spirit of faith, What's the spirit? We believe. Therefore, we spoke. So never speak before believing. Think of that. Never speak the word until you believe the word. Because after that, it will spur you into action. Never speak the word until you believe the word. So, what I'm saying now is. Your faith should have been built to a level where you see what I saw. I can't see for you, I'm sorry. I can only tell the Lord, open his eyes. Let him see that those who are for us are more than those who are against us. Because if I keep saying it, this guy will say, okay, I believe you, but he's still fidgeting. But if he sees, he will go out and slap them. 
No, because he can see. So your attitude after this meeting will determine if you saw. Ay, 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 ay. I said your attitude after this meeting ay, 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 is determined on what you saw in the meeting. So if you actually saw right, you will behave right. The next three minutes is to thank God for what you have said and declare it boldly because you know it will come to pass. I, I know, I know, I know. I know I am already healed of the Lord. Why? Because the word the Lord sent to me. So take the next three minutes and thank Him.